Lulu, it's me, Logan. Look, I know you don't want to talk, okay? But please call me back. I'll... There's got to be something you need me to do. <laughs> Uh, well, let's see, you've mopped the floor and you've cleaned up the freezer. What are you doing, angling for my job or what? Uh, no, I just, I like to stay busy. Really? Yeah. Well, in that case, I've got just the thing for you. See, these receipts, they need to be sorted uh, by payment codes so Bobby can do the books. And who knows? Maybe it'll take your mind off of Logan for a couple hours. I'm not thinking about Logan. Uh, uh, I'm not! If you say so. Uh, Lono, hey, I, I thought this was your day of rest. I picked up an extra shift. <laughs> oh, well, my apologies. I, I had the jackal known he would have sought to uh, quench his thirst elsewhere, uh, per the fair one's wishes. I never asked you to stay away from Kelly's. Yeah, not in so many words, but the jackal has noticed that he has done more to irritate than soothe your broken heart, and, and no, and for that I... I'm deeply sorry and will respectfully keep my distance in the future, although it may be hard since we do reside in... Spinelli, I don't want you to keep your distance. You don't? No, oh, I could use a friend. Well, say no more. The jackal is here to serve. <laughs> Actually, that's my job. One orange soda coming up. Be gone. Bed hopper, or the jack will be forced to unleash a fury. I'm just here to give her some seeds, all right? You love these. I'll let you message. I got it. You can go now. Move on. Well, now you know what it's like, huh? To try and make things right with somebody and they just walk away from you. You know, after careful consideration and reflection, the jackal has decided it would that he can no longer, in good conscience, remain in residence in the regrettably pink but surprisingly cozy room. See, although I do appreciate the fair one's most generous of gestures, I would be remiss if I did not relocate to. Order up. Table three. Order up. Uh, blind one. Uh, Wait, wait here, it's a blonde one. Oh, I no, I heard you. Um, pink room, and um, the answer is still no. I'm I'm not kicking you out. I'm fine in the spare room. Across well, it's just it's come to the jackal's understanding that the room once belonged to Stone Cold's seldom mentioned and somewhat mysterious first wife Brenda, and she decided that that chamber in question would be hers, and had it, you know, decorated appropriately, luxuriously, and um, most definitely feminine. Lisa so would be far more suited to your uses anyway. You know, maybe. You guys could discuss your sleeping arrangements later. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Uh, table three's food is getting cold, but look, I, I know that you have a lot going on. Um, but you send, you're sending out a lot of mixed signals here. Not that I mind seeing Logan suffer, but if you're really serious about moving on, you should probably stop staring at the guy. Look, I, I should have been there for you when you were a kid. But I'm, I'm, I'm stepping up here now. I mean, as soon as I found out that you were found a son, out. yeah. <laughs> you found out months ago, all right? But you didn't give a damn until the DNA test came back. You spent so much time denying that I was your kid. I'm surprised you didn't get the test, you know, test results back and just change them, wash your hands of me. Look, I, I don't have a time machine, all right? I can't go back and fix things. I'm just. I'm, I'm trying to be here for you now. You just got to give me a chance. <laughs> you know, the father of Mr. Corinthos, sir, is not alone in his concern. I, too, have noticed your interest in the unworthy one, even after he most cruelly deceived you. No matter what Logan did to me, he doesn't deserve to be hurt by his father. <sighs> well, you talk a pretty good game. You do. And I, I honestly think you might even mean it. It's too little, too late, man. Look, I'm not saying we gotta be friends. I, I, I just wanna get to know the kid that I didn't know I had. Kid? I'm not some kid anymore. I'm all grown up now, you know? And I don't need my long-lost father trying to fix anything for me. Look, 
Save your breath, Simeon. Now that the fair one knows just how unworthy you truly are, you will never find a way back into her blonde heart. Are you trying to convince her that? Me or Lulu? Please don't be here to see me. I think there's some place we can maybe go and just talk. I'd rather not do this again, but you're giving me no choice. And I want you two here as my official witnesses. I, Lulu Spencer, am never going to believe in Logan Hayes again. You broke my trust and you can't get it back, so quit trying. Our whole so-called relationship was a con, and I don't care about your regrets or anything else. It makes me sick to see you, so please just go. You don't have to stick around. I'm fine. Well, Jacqueline tends to make himself available, just in case the blonde one needs a friend or an escort home. <sighs> um, what I really need right now is some time to think alone. Do you mind? Blonde one's wish is the Jacqueline's command. Yeah, I want to talk to you for a minute. I want to make you an offer. Uh -huh. I'm not interested. How do you know I haven't made the offer? Because if it's coming from you, I don't need to. It's about your parents. I will hand over guardianship back to Nicholas. I will drop the kidnapping charges against your father. And he can bring your mother back to town here where she belongs. What do I need to do in return? I want you to give Logan a second chance. A real one, Lulu. Okay. 